Hello, this is uh, Industry Control Circuit Troubleshooting 1, 4th module. Now we are doing Genius Skill Test number 9. The work order that we received stated that the batch unable to complete its cycle and there is an alarm fault. So what's the problem? Let's dive in. First, by visually looking at the external devices and the circuit, we notice that the alarm lighting is on. As we know, the alarm lighting is on due to two factors. The first is the water temperature reach more than 90 degree or the water level reach more than 90 percent. Just like in the circuit drawing show here. Okay, the alarm lighting is on when the water temperature reach 90 degree or the water level reach 90 percent. But if we look at here, the water level is 85 percent, which is quite normal, and the water temperature is actually zero, which is normal. So we just need to reset the alarm <coughs> and then drain, drain all the fluid from here. And then we run the process one more time to see for to check whether got any other anomaly. <clears throat> okay, then we start the process and observe carefully for any anomaly. So when the water temperature reach more than 70 degrees Celsius, okay, it will energize R4 relay coil. However, it did not energize R4 relay coil as evidenced by looking at the LED status of the relay. It did not turn on means it did not energize. Okay, what is the wrong here? The alarm is not supposed to trigger when water level reach 70 degree. So it, as we know, when water rate temperature reach 90 degree, the temperature switch to be triggered to close mechanically and AC current flow through this path to energize R9 relay coin and alarm lighting. Now from what we see is the alarm lighting turned on. So means there is a current actually flowing through the path. So what is the problem here? So most likely during maintenance, the technician accidentally swapped the, these two temperature switch because both looks similar and alike. So it can be easily mistake one for the other. Most likely that the maintenance technician use TS1 at this point and TS2 at this point. That's why when used wrongly or they replace the 40 temperature switch previously and replace with the temperature switch with the wrong setting, meaning instead of using temperature switch with 90 degree triggering point, they use the temperature switch with 70 degree triggering point. No matter what, wrong temperature switch is used at this position. Okay. So <clears throat> that's why when temperature reach 70 degree, the temperature switch trigger to close and then it energize this alarm. Okay, so what we can do is we switch off the power supply, perform the lockout takeout and verify the lockout takeout is done properly. Before, first thing first, before we do so, okay, we need to drain out the water. Why? Because we need to remove the temperature switch to perform function check first before we place. <clears throat> In order to do so, we need to drain the water. Otherwise, the hot water may splash into our body and cause injury. Alright. Okay, now, cut off the power supply and perform the lockout takeout. And first, we perform inspection remove the temperature switch and test and if the switch closes at 
the wrong temperature okay we need to replace we also need to check the second temperature switch maybe they swap it accidentally also closes at the wrong temperature so we need to replace it or just need to swap back okay so now we can remove the lockout takeout and then we run the process again to double confirm everything is fine before we hand over the system to manufacturing or the operator So when the fluid temperature reach 70 degree, it will energize R4 relay coil. Okay, when reach 70 degree, it will trigger temperature temperature switch to close mechanically and current will energize R4 relay coil. Now it reached 70 degree, but the R4 relay coil did not energize because LD did not turn on. <coughs> the water temperature reached 90 degree the alarm lighting turns on okay this alarm perform well because it is supposed to turn on when temperature reaches 90 degrees so this is a correct operation the only thing is R4 relay coil why it did not energize okay so maybe it's because somewhere around this path there is an open circuit where they in the wire temperature switch or the relay itself or there's a loose termination here so we need to measure the voltage maybe at this ts12 okay ts12 connected to tb316 tb316 is here from ts12 to double confirm there's a voltage here okay so db316 there's a voltage meanings okay <clears throat> the temperature switch is actually triggered to close when you reach 70 degree and the current able to flow through here hence there's a voltage when you measure here so when we measure r42 if there is a voltage okay that means the upstream side is okay if there's no voltage that means the upstream side is having open circuit so we measure r42 there's no voltage meaning there's a open circuit on the upstream side we know that ts12 is okay so the open circuit or loss termination occur between this line okay so from TB, TS12 connected to TB316 here is connected to R42 somewhere around here so most likely there's an open circuit or there's a loose termination at point 16 and a point 2 okay so we just need to okay cut off the main power supply perform the local takeout and make sure local takeout is done properly okay then we need to check the loose termination okay there's no loose termination here there's no loose termination here so we need to check the resistance of the wire from R42 okay to TB316 here open circuit okay so we need to change this wire okay then normalize the multimeter remove the lockout takeout turn on the power supply and drain the fluid from the vessel after then after that we need to run the process to double confirm everything is fine and running smoothly without issue before hand over to manufacturing operator okay we run the process everything looks fine the intake 1 lighting is on okay intake 2 lighting is on when reach 85 then it will proceed to agitator turning on then heater will be turned on okay now heater contactor is triggered to close current supply to the 
heat the element to heat up the fluid. Okay, the temperature is start rising. When it reach 70 degree, the alpha lay coin will be energized. Yeah, it's energized. So the process should complete as per usual and without issue. Okay, result pass.